Hello, my name is Hakan Ali Toker. I'm a composer from Turkey, and uh, I would like to tell you about this wonderful website, imslp.org. It stands for International Music Score Library Project. If you are a classical music person, if you are a person with any level of interest in playing classical music from sheet music, this is the place for you. Uh, if you're a performer of any instrument, uh, you can find music by just about anybody for free and uh, if you're a composer it's a good place to post your music that's exactly what I did a few years ago and just about a year after I uploaded my music I got this email from a gentleman in the UK who showed some interest in playing some of my piano pieces and just a few days ago I got this uh, exciting email from a young colleague of mine in South Korea she showed an interest in playing my F minor polonaise, which is a very demanding piece I wrote in my teenage years. And uh, it's been years since I've played it. And uh, I was very excited to hear about anybody wanting to uh, put so much effort into uh, music that I wrote. I decided to make this video for her and anybody else who's interested in uh, learning to play my polonaise because she asked for some uh, practicing tips. Now these are good practicing tips for uh, some of them good for any level piano playing, uh, but it's, it's gonna be a pleasure for me to uh, use my own piece to do. I'm going to go through the piece uh, very slowly from beginning to end. The score is available at imslp.org uh, it's under Toker, T-O-K-E-R, Hakan Ali Toker. Uh, if you search my name under the composer and look for the Polonaise, there's only one. And if you print out the piece, you can follow what I'm doing. Uh, I'm very sorry I did not write down the measure numbers. So this is a good idea for practicing any music uh, start slowly, you read through it very slowly, because uh, what's important in any kind of instrumental playing is that you have to know the music in advance and prepare the things you need to do. If, if, you, have a, if you have a key you need to push down, you have to put your finger on the key before, before it's time to play it. So playing slowly helps you uh, figure out all the things you have to prepare in advance. If you have a chord you have to jump to, and then in slow tempo practice, getting to it really quickly, being there before it's time to play it. And there's always this uh, <clears throat> factor that in uh, a musical score, you always see one dynamic piano or forte or anything, uh, except for exceptional cases. As a pianist, you always have to distribute your strength, your uh, dynamic forces across the keyboard. And if it, if it says mezzo forte on the page, it doesn't mean all the notes are supposed to be the same. You have to have the pinkies, your fifth fingers, as a general rule, rule of thumb. You have to have your pinkies uh, playing the strongest because that's where your melody and your bass lines and your middle voices need to be softer. So we have this opening passage with middle voices because the C is a repeating note you could choose to emphasize the C or you could choose to emphasize the It's up to you. I have this dynamic suggestion, you know, uh, don't take the dynamics on the page very uh, seriously in the sense that uh, you don't have to go by it very strictly. You can have, take liberties within it. For example, uh, 
it's been years since I wrote the piece and I've, I've matured as a performer since I've written it. Uh, now as I play it, I want to have this strong beginning, but then bring down the dynamic to a... So here, this passage here. This is a tricky passage because your fingers tend to get mixed up. What I do here is I just repeat the thumb once again. and uh, follow the melodic line one good way to practice the piece could be to uh, leave out the extra notes and practice playing the melody uh, simplified way and then that turns it to forte piano over here. Instead of going down totally forte the whole time, you can do push on the back to forte. We have this tricky part here. So how to practice these octaves? favorite piano teachers, uh, Anna Malfeder Sigurdar Doktir from Iceland, she taught me this uh, method. If you can do something uh, harder, if you if you can take a passage, say if you're going to go from this chord to that octave, if you add an extra octave to it, or two, the harder version than, then the actual version becomes easier. where you have to use your wrist you could have an additional larger motion of the arm so going on to the B section we have this forte sempre forte passage nice uh, handsome forte, not a, a barbaric one. Uh, what I do is, like I said in the beginning, I, I put more emphasis in the pinkies. to a new melody. 
and uh, Anna taught me to break up this is what she used to call the break up method you play there there's two ways to play a arpeggio or a or a uh, scale to play it completely legato when it's time to pass over the thumb you can reach out and connect every note but when you have a fast arpeggio from the thumb on you can break and jump immediately to the next position but for this to, to work effectively make sure you move your elbow and uh, use your body to move around the keyboard to keep your elbow uh, in line with the keyboard, with the keys. That's that's one tricky chord you have to really prepare. the pedal so I have a nice staccato there here's uh, one more thing Anna taught me to do what to do to have uh, what to do to have the top notes sound louder you lean towards them instead of playing like this you do 